Ready to test the new electric eel power suit? I'll release some robofish into the water, and you help Martin catch them with the eel's awesome zap power. Electric eels send out electrical charges to sense their surroundings. See the map at the bottom? Those dots show you where the other creatures are. There's the first one. The robofish has an antenna on its head. You need to swim near it to use your electric power. Use the arrow keys to move in the direction you want to swim. Fantastico! When you're close to the robofish, press the space bar to activate your electric power. It works! Just like the real electric eel. But it uses up a lot of energy. Look, the robofish released its battery. It's in that bubble. Swim over the bubble to collect the robofish's energy. You got it! The more lightning bolts you see in the bubble, the more energy you get. Okay, I've released the next wave of robofish. You can see how many you need to catch in the top corner. I think we're getting the hang of this electric eel power suit. That's good, Martin, because things are about to get a bit tougher. Your electro sense view uses energy constantly, so you need to keep getting robofish batteries to stay charged. If you run out of energy, our test is over. Okay, there are some more robofish in the water now. But uh, more robofish coming up. But watch out. Now there's a caiman in the water. The electric eel's natural predator. He'll drain your energy if he bites you. So try to chase him off with your zap power first. Electric eels can zap 600 volts. Ready for the next wave. Okay, now Chris wants in on the fun. He's got on his caiman power suit and is going to try to catch you too. Just treat him like a normal caiman and zap him or keep away. Those caimans can... This power suit works great! Electric eels have special organs in their bodies that give off electrical charges. Electric eels can release different levels of energy from high to low. I set the power suit to a low stud, just enough to zap these robofish and scare electric eels can't see very well. So they constantly give off a low charge, which they use like radar to catch prey. See if you can find these new robofish on your map. Sorry about that, buddy. I am really getting a charge out of this new power suit. Sorry, Chris. That's how nature works. <laughs> Gotta watch out for normal fish. Don't want to zap them. You are amazing at this. getting a charge out of this new power suit. Make sure to zap the robofish when the real fish aren't in the way. Watch out, your energy! I am really getting a charge out of this new power suit. Watch out, your energy is getting low. You need to 
get a robo fish's battery soon. Or you watch out, your energy is getting low. Make sure to zap the robo fish when the real fish aren't. Watch out, your you need to get a robo. Watch out, your energy is getting low. You need to get a robo fish's battery soon. Hi, ready to test the new electric eel power suit? I'll release some robo fish into the water, and you help Martin catch them with the eel's awesome zap. It works. You got it. The more lightning bolts you see in the bubble, the more energy you get. Okay, I've released the next wave of robo fish. You can see how many you need to catch in the top corner. I think we're getting the hang of this electric eel power suit. That's good, Martin, because things are about to get a bit tougher. Your electro sense view uses energy constantly. So you need to keep getting RoboFish batteries to stay charged. If you run out of energy, our test is over. Okay, there are some more RoboFish in the water now, but also some normal fish. They're the ones without the antennas. Don't tap them or you'll lose more energy. More RoboFish coming up, but watch out. Now there's a caiman in the water, the electric eel's natural predator. He'll drain your energy if he bites you, so try to chase him off with your zap power first. Ready for the next wave. Okay, now Chris wants in on the fun. He's got on his caiman power suit and is going to try to catch you too. Just treat him like a normal caiman and zap him or keep away. Zap the robo fish when the real fish aren't in the way. Ah, that doesn't tickle. Electric eels have special organs in their bodies that give off electrical charges. Uh oh, now that's electric eel power. Yikes! Yikes! That's a lot of creature voltage. 